guys. So, I went to the local 7-Eleven, and I picked up 10 snacks, well, 9 snacks and a drink. And I'm about to test them all for you guys right now. This is live. I don't know what these things taste like. I barely know what they are. So, let's get right into this. Alright, so the first thing I got is this lemon candy. Um... If you see me looking over, I'm looking at the list because I had to translate what it is and I have the prices written down. This cost about 102 yen, so that's like a dollar, roughly. So let's see what this is about. I like lemon, so hopefully this is good. Um, when you open it, this is what it looks like. It's in a silver wrapper. Let's see. It's chewy and it has like something in the center. It's really good. I like it. This is really good. On a scale from 1 to 10, I'm going to get at like an 8 or a 9. It's definitely something that I would go back and buy again. And this is it. I'll insert a picture of it too. So, yeah. Alright, so the second thing I have are these sour gummies. They cost 160 yen, so that's like a dollar fifty, dollar sixty roughly. Let's crack these babies open. They come in four flavors: grape, orange, peach, and apple. This is oh shit, I spilled them. But this is what they look like on the inside. Um, I'm thinking this one is orange. Pretty good. On a scale from 1 to 10, I'm going to give these bad boys like a 9.5. These are actually really good. And I'm about to put these in my purse because I really like them. So number 3 are these orange flavored gummies. They're called Satachi Mandarins. And they cost 168 yen. Everything I bought was under 200 yen. So it's like less than $2 for all this. I only spent... 1400 yen, so about $14 on all this stuff. So let's crack these open. Oh, they're in the shape of a heart. This is what they look like. They're so cute. They're really mm, sour, but they're soft too. On a scale from 1 to 10, I'm going to give those. Mm hmm an eight? They were good. I don't know if I'll buy them again, so maybe a seven. So the fourth thing on the list, they're called they're crispy texture kabuchi lifting. They're made from stone wall salt. And they cost 108 yen. So that's like a dollar basically. Um I'm a little nervous about these because I don't even know what this is. So let's this is what it looks like. It's like, mm, it has a bad aftertaste. Oh my god, it was good at first. It had like this caramel sweet thing going, and then it. Mm. Wow, that that was that was interesting. I don't, the aftertaste for that is like still sitting in my mouth. Like I have to drink some water. I'm gonna give that like a three or two. I would never. Mm. Oh, the taste is still in my mouth like two minutes later. Oh my god. I'm definitely gonna throw those away. But the next thing I have are nectar honey snacks. They're made from premium honey and they cost 130 yen. And this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna get these open. And they come individually wrapped. They kind of remind me of, um, I think prunes. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. I don't know. Oh shit, I dropped it. But um it's like a seed in here. Yeah, it's a seed in the middle. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> this is I don't know. I, I can't even eat this. I'm sorry. No. 
So on a scale from 1 to 10, I'm going to give that a 1 because I could, 0, negative 1, a negative 1. I couldn't even put that in my mouth. It was sour and I don't know what the fuck that was, but this is a no-no. Definitely going in the trash bag. And I actually named the wrong thing. Those are actually honey plums. They're made sweet, sour, and soft using actual honey. They really are sweet and sour. Like, no. But the next thing I have is the actual nectar honey snacks made with premium honey polish. And this is what they look like. So let's go ahead and get them open. And they look like little, little fries. Not bad. Yeah, on a scale from 1 to 10, I'm going to give these like a good 7, probably an 8, because I'm definitely going to finish these. Alright, so the next thing I have are called trolley candies. They cost 193 yen, and they come in the flavor of kiwi, lemon, and strawberry. They look like they have like some type of gooey filling. So I'm going to crack these open, and let's get the taste in. I think I'm going to go with lemon, because you can't go wrong with lemon. And they come individually wrapped. Have a picture of the fruit on the back. Why am I dropping everything? <laughs> but let's see. Mmm. This is good. So on a scale from 1 to 10, I'm going to give those an 8. They were really good. And I did end up biting it, and it did have like a gooey feeling, and that was good too. I'm definitely putting those in my purse as well, because they were good. Alright, so up next, I just have some salted potato chips. They cost 108 yen, so that's like a dollar. Um, They're supposed to be just be regular salt potato chips. They had like so many different flavors, like spicy and shrimp flavored. And I was too nervous to try one of the big crazy flavors. Maybe on the next tasting video, I'll do that. But let's go ahead and open these. And they just taste like regular uh, potato chips. So that's a plus. I'm going to give those a 10. I mean, you can't really mess up salted potato chips. So those are good. I will get those again. So the last actual food item I have are called Kochis, 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 I don't know. Um, they're cheese flavored sticks, they cost 145 yen, and they had so many of these little containers with different things, and this, I just picked which one looked the prettiest, that's what it was, so that's, this is what it looks like on the inside. They're not bad, but they're not good. I don't know how to explain it. It's weird. Like, I don't want to continue eating it, but it's not nasty. On a scale from 1 to 10, I'm going to have to give those a 5 because they weren't good, but they weren't bad. So, I'll definitely try different flavors with those. And the last thing I have is this milk tea. It costs 151 yen. Um... It's milk tea, afternoon tea. That's what it says right there. That says afternoon tea. So, let's get this tasted. I see a lot of milk teas in the vending machines and in stores and everything. So. That's like a sweet taste to it. Not bad. It's actually pretty good. I keep going back to taste it though. That really just tastes like milk and tea. That's probably why it's called milk tea. But I'm going to give that a good 8 because I will finish this. This is pretty good. So that is all I have for you guys. Those are my 10 random Japanese snacks and candies that I tried. 
Um, give this video a thumbs up and comment if you want to see more of these. I like doing them because I'm greedy and I like to eat. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to keep up with all my adventures and activities coming up while I'm here in Japan. And I will see you guys on the next video.